Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to share with you a real uh, quick and easy WordPress plugin called Pop-Up Maker. Um, and so a lot of times I know people, uh, you, you're likely familiar with a pop-up on a website. Um, and so I want to show you how you can actually do that using a uh, plugin that I basically learned about a few weeks ago and like using it for um, some of the web projects that I have as well as referring it you know to to other folks and so let's go ahead and I want to show you what this is it's called pop-up maker um, so it allows you to make pop-up forms opt-ins and more um, and so you know it I've alluded to other pop-ups, but this is by far one of the uh, easiest because oftentimes you have to have a pop-up plugin as well as the um, um, the pop-up plugin as well as the contact form, you know, plugin. And so a lot of times you may use Gravity Form, Contact Form. So what's interesting about this, this is kind of one of those all-in-one. Um, Plugins, and so I, I want to show you, you know, how to use it. So let's go ahead and hop into plugins, and we will go to basically if you're at your admin dashboard, go to plugins and then select add new. Once you add new, then basically do pop up maker. And once the plugin appears here, go ahead and click install now. And then once it installs, we will um, activate it and then we'll do the next steps. And so I'm installing on a local host um, WordPress. And so once it gets installed and it's activated, it'll appear here, Pop-Up Maker in the left-hand side. And so you can see it has uh, all the different pop-ups, the extensions that you can add on because it's a freemium model. So if you want greater uh, functionality then you'll have to purchase that it also has pop-up themes you can do uh, subscribers you know the list goes on and so let's go to um, settings here you can use a default theme Enter enterprise blue we'll just use enterprise blue um, and if you want the Google fonts you'll basically have to get a Google fonts key and then um, you have no default newsletter provider that's listed in there and so that's that uh, privacy uh, basically this is disables um, the pop-up open tracking and you know will disable the built-in analytics that are there and so you can select all these different subscription forms um, so you can go there you can also set the many different uh, functionality settings here for caching debug mode the pop-up um, admin bar and so let's go and look at all pop-ups so it has no pop-up and then based on that you can add a new pop-up you can also add a new pop-up theme we'll just add a new pop-up and call this test and then this is optional and it can be left empty but this is basically uh, this gives it basically almost the CSS so it'll say pop make dash whatever you name this um, to be used as a trigger it's required but then the pop-up title which appears on the front end inside the pop-up container then you know you can leave that blank um, and so from there you can actually begin to start to modify you can reset the analytics counts here but you can start to modify and add different triggers so if we add trigger you can go click on open or you can say time delay um, we'll add that and then basically the time delay is how many milliseconds uh, so let's just put two and a half seconds you want to add that in there um, you can target different things um, enterprise blue 60% or you can make it even smaller 40% um, you can have animation you can have it fade in you can say top center um, or you can say middle center um, 
let's see here we can disable the overlay if need be um, close button or text uh, and then you can have you know you can select all of these so press 4 to close press f4 um, ESC the ESC button so the escape button or click overlay to close and so you know you might want to check all these just for accessibility um, issues but a lot oftentimes you may not want to check these to force uh, people to sign up which I don't necessarily agree with but hey some people do it um, so yeah so you can you can do that now if you had in your settings if we had like a MailChimp that was already set up then um, you could basically go to your settings here which I'll show you so in the subscriptions it says default newsletter provider um, then you know you could basically have uh, MailChimp already set up in here and I didn't set it up but you could set it up and then it would appear here and you would select that and then it would give you access to um, various forms and so because I didn't select that I'm just since I already have a um, a contact form what we'll do is just go here select test form copy and then go back paste it in and then we will publish this and so now that that's published what we'll do we'll try to go here um, and like I said I'm running a local host version and so we'll see there it is so there's the form and because it's showing the admin bar that it's, it's being blocked by the admin bar but in two and a half seconds you saw it showed the form so think of this you could actually have uh, forms here contact forms you can have sign up forms email forms download um, or email magnets or lead magnets as they're called you can have those here but essentially it's pretty easy um, in terms of every time it loads um, you know you can basically have it you know show every time or click the form or click outside and it's basically going to show up so that's just an easy uh, plug-in like I said the um, plug-in is called pop-up maker and you can find it on uh, WordPress uh, org. just go in type in pop-up maker and it should um, appear so thanks and let me know if you have any questions or comments please feel free to uh, leave those below the video as well as subscribe to the kickstart commerce youtube channel and last but not least give us a visit over at kickstartcommerce.com go to the right hand side and sign up for the daily scoop newsletter where i share with you search marketing uh, tips and tricks as well as wordpress tips and tricks and other digital disciplines to help you grow your business so thanks for watching that's all for now